Hello, thank you very much for joining me. Today we are talking about luggage whilst you're on the bike and comfort as well. We have a new bag from Revit with us in the studio. This is the Revit Stack 15 litre H2O. I can't remember the order of the H2O in there, but H2O alluding to the fact that this is a waterproof backpack. What I should also say about this is that it's made in conjunction with Krieger, who really do know how to make a good backpack. Revit have partnered with Krieger on a few designs. As I say, we have the stack with us here today. This comes in at £189.99. It only comes in black and as I mentioned, probably mentioned a few times now, it is 15 litres, which even though it might not sound a lot, is quite a comfortable size. Anything more than about 20-25 litres and it starts to get a little bit uncomfortable. Speaking of comfort though, one of the things that partnering with Krieger will give you is access to their very comfortable straps and uh, shoulder mounting of this. The way this bag holds itself is very good. The way that the straps are oriented, it's supposed to bring that weight to your chest less on the tops of your shoulders where it might start to feel quite uncomfortable and definitely not on your lower back. So it holds itself in a nice comfortable region where you are strongest. As you can see then on the front, you have their quad lock light system, which is really easy to use. You just press that in and then fasten it or fasten it back up. And obviously it straps across the center there, which helps bring that weight forward, helps bring it to your chest. And you've also got these removable straps around your waist if you need. I always tend to buckle these up personally. I know it can look a little bit geeky, which is why they are removable. If you don't want them on there, that's fair enough. But I always find that helps a little bit again with where it holds its weight. And again, these are adjustable, obviously. One of the other things that's quite nice is it's got these little clips on it to hold these straps so they're not just flapping around in the wind, irritating you, hitting against things. So that keeps it nice and secure as well. Obviously, all of this stuff is adjustable. One of the things I didn't actually realize until one of my colleagues pointed it out to me, thank you, Brett, was that you can actually adjust the shoulder straps as well. If you open up the bag, you'll feel as you run your hand down there that these straps go down the center and crisscross as they get in there. But you've got these two adjusters on the very top of it, so you can actually pull these even further out of the bag. So you've got an awful lot of adjustability. You will definitely be able to find a comfortable position for this bag. You also have the air mesh back on this, which just raises it slightly off your back. It's a very breathable fabric and it's obviously padded as well, which is great. And it runs in two tracks. So the center of your spine is open and it will allow a lot more airflow through. That's also going to add to the comfort. Then of course we come to the important bit, the body of the bag itself, which is constructed out of a polyester ripstop fabric. It's nice and tough, nice and durable. That isn't where you'll get your waterproofing from. It has an internal waterproof liner, which is removable again, and it's attached via Velcro. I'll get onto that in a moment, just to point out the handle though, really big handle actually, even through motorcycle gloves, which bulk up your hand a little bit, you can easily carry this around. It is a roll top, so if I just undo these, you'll be able to see inside. One of the things I will pick them up on with this bag in particular, and the only reason I pick them up is because I know in other bags they have got a white internal liner, which I didn't notice was much of a problem until Andy actually pointed it out to me in his. But if it's white, you can see what's in there. You can see if you've left anything in the bottom of your bag. Whereas if it's black, you just go rummaging around and hunting and you may well have left something down the bottom there. It might be harder to find your stuff. It's not a massive problem at all. It just makes it really nice. And I know in other bags, they have a white liner, which may have been nice to include with this one. It is just the one compartment, so you don't have partitions within this. You can't separate things off necessarily, other than a small pouch, which is actually in the waterproof liner. If I just remove it, bear with me one second, I'll show you how simple that is to do. At least you just unfasten this Velcro, hopefully. And once you've done that, you can just pull it all the way out and you can see how simple a design that is really, is just the one pouch, but if I turn it inside out or show you this section, you'll be able to see there is another little pocket there for your valuables if you need, if you want to put in some keys or just something to keep it separate there so you're not rummaging around around the bottom of the bag, then that's a nice little addition. And as it's on the inside of the waterproof liner, of course it's going to be nice and safe, nice and dry as well. The only other thing of note inside is this little Velcro loop which is for a hydration pack or a water bladder. If you are carrying water with you, if you're on a longer ride and you need to hydrate whilst you're riding, you can attach that there. It's around 60 pounds offered by Krieger and it can be quite a useful thing on a longer ride. Key features are the comfort and the waterproofing of this. Obviously it is 15 liters, that may well dictate your decision somewhat, but they do have a host of other backpacks which you can choose 
if you want something larger. And a few other collaborations with Krieger. We have the Baron, which is a little bit bigger. It's 18 liters and you've got partitions in that one. So it might be worth your attention if you're looking at this kind of bag. Do drop your questions and comments down below if you have any. Check out the links in the description if you want to pick up one of these for yourself. And for more of the world's finest riding gear, stay tuned to Urban Rider. Thank you.